Did you see that ugly man? Yep, I saw him. No one wants to be his friend. But why? He is so fat, so complicated, and no one understands the language he talks. I see, what a failure. He should learn from us. The best. The best? What is the best engine? Do you think the answer is it depends? Because it's not. Let me explain. Last time I said it depends on several factors and explained how exactly. But then I realized that we are asking the wrong question. So let's end this discussion today. We will compare game engines to each other to find the best engine and then explain what I mean in detail. Let's start with the graphics. Unreal is the best. Second thing, program. Just kidding. If we will talk about 2D graphics, we will call our boy to join the discussion but if it's 3d we will kick him out but why i'm saying this godot does have the ability to make 3d games and you can see that in this video but that was an exception to make such graphics godot will require a lot of effort to implement complicated stuff that are built-in features in unity and unreal i got this information from the community as i didn't try godot that much also it lacks 3d game tutorials and is not a good option for a future career or to get a job so let me summarize it really fast. Unity and Godot have the capabilities of making 2D games, even Unreal, but in 3D space. So you have to look for other aspects to decide which engine suits you in terms of 2D games. For the best in 2D graphics, Unity and Godot are almost equal, but Unity is slightly better in graphics and is much better in other aspects. Now let's talk about 3D, Unreal versus Unity. In terms of graphics, it really depends on the assets. So let's talk about the engine itself, lighting, physics, and settings in general. We can see from this example that Unreal is slightly better than Unity, but some say that if you push Unity to its full potential and tweak post-process effects, you can have a similar look to Unreal. Unreal. But then if you put the same amount of time into Unreal, you can make it better. So there is no point. Let's look at Sons of the Forest. Can you guess which engine they used in making this game? Because it's super realistic. You have three seconds. Okay, the answer is Unity. That is what I meant by adjusting Unity to look better. Let's take another example. We can see the same game made in the three engines for comparison by Velander. Sorry if I spelled your name wrong. Now, yes, there is a noticeable difference in the visual fidelity of the shadows in Godot. But the main difference is in realism. If you look at realistic environments, you will see that Unreal Engine has the best graphics in realism, as it has MetaHuman and Quixel Mega Scan assets, and much more. But but in fantasy and other genres where realism does not matter, Unreal is slightly better because of GI and Nanite. So in graphics, Unreal is the best as we have seen in the previous examples. But let me tell you now what I meant at the start of the video to make things clearer. The best engine is different from what engine should you use. In other words, the best game engine for you. Because only you know which one suits your needs. You will decide what to choose so it depends on you your goals, your preferred programming language, and many other factors. In that video, I addressed some points to keep in mind when choosing the engine that you should use. But don't consider the result in that video, which is Godot, because I did say Godot under some circumstances. So I will give you some more examples. Want to make 2D games in a user-friendly UI and coding language? Godot is your choice. You prefer C Sharp and want more tutorials? choose unity you don't want to code and want incredible graphics movement system and optimization built-in features you can use unreal engine with blueprint which is visual scripting language so that you have it now in a short brief you can choose the engine that suits your needs the best for you may not align with the best game engine when comparing them to each other so let's find what is truly the best engine now we will talk about pricing after that we will see the coding language for each engine after unity drama thing price is a point we have to talk about. Let me know what was your reaction when you first heard of it, because Thomas' reaction was hilarious. Oh, so look at this. We've got this really cool thing. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this. It's called Unreal Engine. I've never heard of it. Now, obviously, I'm being sarcastic, guys. Now, in terms of prices, all three engines are free. Godot is open source and completely free, but Unity and Unreal take a percentage of your gross revenue when some conditions are met. If you exceeded $1 million revenue from your game, Epic Games, the owner of Unreal Engine, Engine will charge you 5% on the gross revenue after your first million dollars. It's really simple. On the other hand, Unity will require you to switch to Unity Pro which costs $180 a month if and only your gross revenue exceeds $100,000. That is for current Unity versions. 
and if you upgrade to unity 6 which is coming soon it's optional if you want to upgrade or not you will have to switch to unity pro again but the difference here is you have to pay 2.5 percent of your gross revenue or fee per installation after 200 thousand dollars in revenue hello guys rex the editor is here so i made a mistake i thought the 2.5 percent after 200 thousand dollars but it seems it's after 1 million so if you want the correct information follow the text so the winner here is let me calculate it very quick if you achieve 2 million dollars after one year in unity and unreal here is how much you will pay 50k for unreal 47k for unity including the subscription it's correct that they are similar but it's different from one case to another for example, if you earn less than a million, you don't have to pay anything using Unreal Engine, but a 20k for using Unity. I calculated it using Unity pricing structure. So this point is for Unreal in the short term, but both are similar in the long term. Pray for me to reach 1 million, then we will talk about this in detail. So in terms of graphics, Unreal has the best graphics. It's like comparing iPhone to Nokia. In terms of pricing, the DOT is the best, but if we talk only about 3D games, which means only Unity and Unreal, then the point of pricing goes for Unreal Engine. So again guys, Unreal is not better than Unity in terms of prices, but let's say it's a draw. But frankly, it does not really matter. I hope you and I reach the place where we think about this, as 100k revenue is a little bit hard. If you want to know more about this topic, you can watch this video. Anyway, now in terms of coding, I think you know this part already so if you want you can skip this part or watch it to help YouTube algorithms boost the video. And speaking of this, subscribe to motivate me, release more content and revive the game dev community. Unreal Engine operates with C++ and Blueprint. If you have no experience and don't want to code at all, Unreal Visual Scripting Language is your best choice as it's easier than C Sharp and other options. Also, you can make a full game using only Blueprint like two star uh, the entire game i've never okay. used c++ in my life and I so it's possible to make a full game without touching c++ however you might have performance issues if your game is written fully in blueprint i searched about this before and what i learned that if you make let's say a mechanic in both c++ and blueprint it's almost the same but when you do five to ten mechanics that depend on each other to work you will notice the difference as calling data from one to another and calculating Calculating math using Blueprint is much slower than C++, so if you want to make an open world game using only Blueprint will cause some trouble. If you know more about this, please share it with others in the comment section. In Unity, you will use C Sharp, which is easier than C++, but not than Blueprint. But wait, Unity also has visual scripting language. I found out that it's not mature and stable like Blueprint. And another important thing, the majority of tutorials are in C Sharp anyway, and for Unreal, they are mostly in Blueprint. I almost forgot Godot. It operates with GD script, which is similar to Python. It also operates with C Sharp and Holy C, uh, sorry, I mean C++. You can use both GD script and C Sharp or C++, but the amount of tutorials using C languages is near zero, so I won't recommend using them. And to be honest, tutorials for Godot are poor in general. Anyway, the best game engine is Unreal Engine, and if you are interested, in using it, Epic Game hosts a website for devs that has a lot of courses for free. It's your first option if you want to learn the engine, but this does not mean you should use Unreal Engine. I'm just saying what is the best game engine comparing them to each other, not the best option for you. Not to mention that you probably won't push Unity to its full potential in terms of graphics, and I would like to hear what will you choose and why. Oh wait, don't forget that time is gold, so don't waste any more of it. Choose your best game engine and start your game dev journey. If you want, you can check this video for further information. And in the end, enjoy your game dev journey.